and the artist coming through at the ace part this week on the countdown is a newbie in the industry who made her big break just last year 2023 with a hit single ole featuring benson you already know i'm talking about king maddie how are you doing today i'm excited i'm super happy to be here exactly <laughs> your rise to fame has been phenomenal with your hit single see finish and ole making it really big on tiktok how has this rapid success been like for you and how has it impacted your approach to music oh <laughs> so i feel like it has impacted my life and my reasoning in a way because now i don't just make music with the mindset of i have to compromise my lyrics to fit a certain group of people i'm always making music futuristically i'm like you don't know who's listening you don't know the audience that hasn't tapped in yet and i feel like people accepting the type of music i do right now has just change my mind, change how I work, change who I am as a person because now I'm more confident, now I'm more outspoken and now I'm more like, I mean, I'm the best Maggie that I can be right now. So that's basically what's up. Your debut EP received critical acclaim. Can you take us through the creative process and how you came through with the music for the King Maddie EP? And what message do you want to convey to your listeners and people who follow you? So... Personally, with the project, with the body of work that we did, it wasn't like planned or it wasn't like, oh, we're about to do a body of work because most of the songs were like a lot of space of years in between. Like Vision is the oldest song on the track. It was recorded before I was even signed. And then we have See Finish, which is the first song I recorded while I was signed. And it's just a bunch of songs that we felt had the proper message to introduce me. So with the King Mighty EP, we were not very intentional like with creating it. We weren't like, okay, it's time for a project. We're about to do an EP. Most of the songs were like aged a couple before like I even got signed, like Vision, the oldest song on the project. And then See Finish, the first song I made when I got signed, you know, it's like all of them were aged differently, but I felt like accumulated together, they had the right message that I wanted to pull through as someone that's introducing themselves to the industry. And I just hoped that people would get a feeling of like authenticity in the out in the EP actually. Cause like every song there was made from an experience. Every song there was made from a true story. And I felt like someone out there could relate. And I just wanted to be very genuine with the project. So I'm like, okay, this is it. This is what's up. This is me having a conversation with you. Are you feeling it? That was like my goal for the project. It did that and much more because like I have like testimonies of people saying that they the song basically is their therapy. And I'm like, yeah, I'm glad that I was able to do that with the project. So that was my goal. And the creating of the project, you know, like I said, summer aged a couple of years before. And as I was saying, like Vision, the oldest song, See Finish and everything, we created it. Each song was created like with a certain backstory. I don't think any of the songs were like fantasy based or just thought of. They were very carefully written and deeply like interpreted. So that was the process. Making it onto the Apple Music Rising Class of 2024 is a testament of your growing career in the industry. So what do you hope to achieve in the coming years with your music and your career so far? Like I said, I want to be a voice. Obviously for the teenagers, people of my age, peer group and similar visions, I want to be a voice for them. So that is a majority for me in my career. I'm just hoping that I can achieve that. And as major as that sounds, that's actually a very prime reason why I do music. Also, I hope to achieve proper recognition because, you know, I never want to be boxed up. Inspiration wise, I never want to be scared of limiting myself of making a type of music because I'm not able to reach out to this or that. So I just hope I'm appreciated and I hope that I get, you know, everything that I deserve. Just, I don't know, but <laughs> that's basically it. So how do you navigate being so young in the music industry and what advice would you give to other young aspiring artists? <laughs> the thing is, funny enough, it's not even playing to my advantage when it comes to like, nah, it's not playing to my advantage when it comes to the creation of the music, even in the acceptance because for the longest time, I used to like hide my age before my label made it everywhere. It's like, oh, do you know that she's been so? It's like, now everyone knows about it, but I always felt like it would limit me and how people would see my lyrics. Cause you know, when C Finish came out, everyone was like, yo, they love it. It, it fits to their scenario. And then oh, was like, she's 15 or she's 16. I was like, oh, like, what have you seen? You know, it's just people just start actually thinking deep into why you wrote it and all of that. So I never really wanted, I'm never really like an age person or anything. But, you know, it hasn't played to my advantage in the industry because there's some type of like, you know, like 
hypocritical moves and when people are like you know she's she's too young for this so like we can't have her in this space and that space so there's a lot of limitations when it comes to that it, there is <laughs> but you know i'm just i'm working it's working out i'm striving regardless of everything that's happening and also like i have family which makes it easier for me because my family they're very involved in my career they really love and support my career so it makes it easier for me as well to just like live and make music Hey amazing people, it's King Madi. Thank you guys so much for streaming, downloading and loving my music. Keep watching Sound City Top 10 Nigeria. Thank you so much for hanging with us here in the studio this week and your music video to up with Joe Boy of course, Adenuga is at the 8th spot. Check it out.